Hey Aries, this is Soul. And Aries, this is your uh, February 2020 general love and relationship messages. It is going to be for um, Aries Sun, Moon, and Aries Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow Aries, I hope all is well. Uh, before I begin your uh, messages, I want to wish all the Aries a very happy uh, and safe Valentine's Day. Yes, February 2020. Already the year is moving fast, right? So, um, the only other message that I have for you, Aries, is that I'm, I've switched up and I am trying uh, to use a different deck. I'm using the Afro Goddess uh, Tarot deck to deliver your messages. And I know that the uh, I've said in the past that the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck was my go to uh, tarot deck to uh, deliver these messages for you. But I wanted to change the energy up here and do something uh, differently. New year, new decade. And also, too, because of the fact that um, the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck has the two um, lovers card, the two devils card. This one here has, of course, the major arcana of the lovers, but also, too, uh, Andrea uh, Fertig has um, included an additional card, which is the Supreme. So I have anointed that card as a uh, positive well it's positive regardless uh, but the supreme simply means that it's um, you're connected to the supreme divine source so when it comes to your relationships uh, Aries in the month of February all things are possible and I'm saying all things are possible in a good way okay so if you get that card and uh, Taurus was uh, Taurus has received that card as their shadow so that was very interesting um so yeah if, if you get that it's a relationship card uh and oftentimes um i do re uh excuse me equate that with the star card uh you know the other major arcana hopes wishes and dreams becoming uh fulfilled and manifested but it is what it is it says it's the supreme so it means that basically you are the yeah, you are connected to the divine source of the supreme and all things when it comes to your relationships are possible. OK, so uh, also to using Simply Love's Oracle um, message deck just to uh, complement your reading uh, Aries, And you can use those messages for however you want. All cards are in the upright position. And let's begin. OK, so we are Valentine's love. All we need is love, right? That's what they say. Mm -mm. All I need is money. Anyway, a card pops out. We're going to use that. And this is the Queen of Cups. So we're already starting off pretty good. Uh, Aries. Goddess of love. She's the mother of um, love. She's the nurturer. She's the care caregiver. She's uh, emotionally supportive. She is also a relationship card. So we have the goddess of love showing up here for you queen of cups and she represents the water sign energies uh cancer scorpio or pisces male or female uh, it's important that the energies can be exchanged so she can represent male energies um but she has something he or she has something to offer something to give something sustainable on an emotional level Pay attention to your intuition when it comes to your relationships in the month of February. Okay. All right. So. Shadow card energy, uh, Aries, uh, energy that may play out for the for you for the month of February uh, relates to that of, well, another major. Well, it's not another, but it's a major arcana, the high priestess. OK, so this is actually pretty good, too. Uh, it is in alignment with the um, goddess of uh, cups or the queen of cups in terms of the queen of cups is paying attention to your intuition she's there to help you and now you have the uh other support which is the major arcana the high priestess that says trust yourself in the month of uh, february when it comes to your relationship this card also is an indication of secrets being kept or withheld so that could be a possibility for some of you um the different pole colors is the opposition. So it could be some sort of slight oppositions with an exchange of uh, energies with your significant others. But I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. Also, it's like if you meet someone new, if you're a single Aries, because I forgot to mention that this reading is for uh, single Aries and coupled Aries as well. They may be from 
<coughs> the person may be a different race, different um, background, culture, religion, speak a different language, could live in a different city, state, country, you name it. OK, could be of a different age to so be, uh, you know, could not necessarily a significant age different, but an age different, something different from you. So the high priestess represents um, the Pisces energies and also that of uh, Cancer and Scorpio, male or female. So trust yourself when it comes to your relationships and your guidance that is offered to you uh, through the Queen of Cups. Uh, it's there just to um, benefit you for your highest good. All right. So your overall energy for the month of February when it comes to love and relationships, Taurus. Well, now you got the Supreme. I just spoke about the Supreme. So this is a major arcana. Now you have two major arcanas and actually you have three cards so far uh, starting off pretty good. Uh, but I don't like to get super excited uh, because just in Taurus's um, reading alone, they have received the Ace of Cups as the first card. What crossed that was the Page of Cups. And then what followed that was, um, I could be wrong, but the Tower showed up somewhere. So it's almost like, okay, we're just going to go with the energies that show up. And I'll speak about that. But I did mention that the Supreme, even though this is the major arcana, and I have anointed this as one of the very positive card relationship cards. You are connected to the divine source. All things are possible when it comes to your relationships, whether you are in a current relationship, Aries, or if you want to enter in to a new relationship. This is like I said before, sometimes I equate this energy with that of the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. It also too is not going to completely diminish any negative uh, energies that may show up here for you, but it may dim it a little bit. I'm sorry, I just got distracted. What the hell? Come on. It may temper down the energies uh, a little bit for you. OK, so the Supreme, what crosses that Supreme, which would be your immediate environment, is the uh, Nine of Wands. So this is part of your energies and that's not bad. It's your busy bee. So some of you may be finding yourself extremely busy in the month of February, you know, could be doing with uh, partnerships or you could be just running around putting your energies out there being a social light okay and that's the case more power to you and that's what you need to do you cannot be seen if you're not putting your energy out there so having to have the energy to be a social light to be uh, very very active and very busy but you have to um, connect those energies with your you know concerning your relationships so that's your energy and that energy of um, Leo and Sagittarius, male or female. Following the um, Nine of Wands is now the Hermit card, Major Arcana. So you've got three Major Arcana showing up here, and this is not bad. The Hermit card is just a, a relaxation or pulling back your energies for some of you to evaluate, spending some sort of time alone. Uh, for some of you, it could be meditating. Some of you could be meditating on your relationships or meditating about wanting to uh, enter into, uh, you know, the best energy or the best way that you can enter into a new relationship. But it's not some energy that where you're going to stay fixated or permanent in. OK, you usually just take some sort of time away or take time out just for self. And then once you come out, disconnecting your energies temporarily from that of others and then having to come out with the the light here with the source or the uh, information that you need and moving forward. Keep this in mind, connected to your relationships again. OK, some of you may be just temporarily dis uh, disconnecting your energies from your uh, relationships and still thinking about um what could be improved, what do you need to do, what they need to do, and so forth. But the Hermit is a neutral card for me in terms of the energies. It just simply means that I need to pull back a little bit just on a temporary basis to evaluate something that is important to me. And we're talking about love and relationships. The Hermit card represents um, Virgo and the other Earth sign energies, Taurus and Capricorn. Up next is the lovers. Aries, you received the lovers and you have three major arcana showing up here now. No, it's four. The hermit, the lovers, 
the high priestess as the cast shadow and the supreme as your overall energy for the month. So it seems like, again, Aries, you guys are rolling into some very positive energies uh, in the month of February. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female represents that lover's card. So that's new unions, that's existing unions, romantic chemistry, spending quality time, like I had said before, with each other, uh, you know, all related. Some could be related to um, all of, you know, Valentine's Day, doing something significant, sharing quality time, embracing each other, acknowledging each other. And it's all good. Okay, the lovers, major arcana. What's up next after the lovers card is the six of wands. This is your, more of your energy. So some of you could be traveling together or going on a romantic. Following the lovers card, some of you could be going on a, a you know a romantic getaway, spending. Um, and I know a lot of people do this. You know, they go to uh, you know shows or something like that to uh, casinos that are having shows and is and is geared towards. Uh, Valentine's, but there's always some something going on um, related to Valentine's, and then some people take advantage of you know those weekend getaways. So that could be the case. This, however, is victory and success, and it's attached to your relationships. There, if, if there is some sort of traveling going on here, Aries, um, then it's safe passage to, safe passage from. Now, it could be that someone's traveling to come see you. This could be for those singles. Single Aries traveling to see someone else, but it's romantically linked. So that's good energy. Remember, you have the goddess of love. Uh, I'm sorry, not the goddess of love. The goddess of cups. Queen of cups showing up here as an offer. So you're... you're mm. This is good energy for my fellow Aries for this uh, month of February. Wow, 2020. Following the uh, Six of Wands here, Aries, we have, oh, see, look at that. This is why I said I wanted to stop short or shy of saying too much about the good energy showing up because there's always something that, you know, this is a ding. All right. But then listen, you have the uh, massive energy showing up here to diminish some of that energy of the tower. Tower is self-explanatory. OK, and I'm not going to expand on it any further. So whatever the tower moment means for you, then it may mean uh, nothing at all, but it may mean something to someone else. But you have the supreme as your overall energy. OK, you have the high priestess as your shadow energy. You got the lovers and then you have the hermit. And remember, I said at the onset that the Supreme, no matter, you know, what comes up after it, it's not going to, you know, necessarily diminish all of the uh, energies of any negative cards that show up afterwards because the tower has its own energy. OK, and you can't you don't know and you can't know what the tower is going to do until, of course, the week rolls up or the month rolls up and then you find out, oh, OK, so this must have been meant, <clears throat> excuse me, this must have been. Uh, for the tower that showed up in the reading. OK, so that's where I'm going to leave it. And, and you know, like I said, not expand too much on it. I'm not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life. So we're just focusing on love and relationship. But I will throw in here since we have the traveling card, Aries. And I said all things may be related to couples uh, doing something um, together and it's geared towards um you know, Valentine's, but because of this, this White House being a symbol here in this card, maybe somebody um, is taking a trip to D.C., you know, or visiting the White House or just sightseeing around the, the White House or the monuments in D.C. All right, I'm going to throw that in there. Following the tower now, uh, Aries, we have... The Ten of Swords, okay? So I said when the Ten of Swords showed up for one of them signs, and it was their last card, I said, this is actually a pretty good card, all right? This is the, um, you know, backstabbing card, but it's not denoting physical backstabbing. I'm not talking about inpatient, outpatient surgical procedures. Note that it follows the tower, so it could be that there was some sort of major uh, turmoil that was going on or will be going on in the month of February for somebody 
And then all of that energy is about to change because this is what this energy reflects. It's a clearance or a, a change of energy that's about to come. Tens of fives are always about those energies that have the potential to show up or experience. And then there's always going to be a fresh uh, type of energy coming through. And it's usually positive. OK, so if there was any uh, energy that, you know, you experienced in the month of February and the tower moment you know, someone has a tower moment, then just know following that tower, the conflicting energy is about to come to an end or near completion, change of energy. Following the uh, Ten of Swords, uh, Aries representing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, we have the Magician. Oh my gosh, you guys seem to always get this Magician. And the Magician is two sides. So again, it's a major arcana. So now you have five major arcanas showing up for a 10-card spread. The positive aspects is that you have all the elements necessary, uh, whether you're single or if you're in a relationship, Aries, to manifest that relationship, that in which you want. Okay, so that's the positive aspect. The negative is that this is an actual person. I always read the magician as an actual person. It's a trickster. It's a manipulator. It's a sociopathic person. Personality It's a narcissistic personality. Okay, some of you could be in relationships with these types of individuals. Recognize what you're dealing with. They don't love. Okay, they are not capable of loving. They can fake it. Okay. But they are not capable of experiencing love. They don't know what it is. They are people who usually target you for some sort of supply. It could be sex, money, love, friendship, time, whatever. Pay attention to the red flags. Trust yourself as the cash shadow energy is showing up here for you to trust your gut instincts. Usually the gut instinct is the correct answer. Uh, do not bypass those flags or those feelings because it will be something that comes back to definitely haunt you in your ass, especially when this magician is showing up here. OK, these people lack empathy. They don't know how to um, place themselves into your shoes to know how you feel. Mm -mm. They are devoid of any types of feelings. Get to know them or not get to know them. OK, because you really don't want to get to know them. That's all I'm going to say about the magician. The magician also, uh, before I close out on that, puts a mask on because they've are trying to reveal or conceal them, you know, them true um, their true selves to you because they're coming after you for something. OK, it's all part of their game. It's all a part of their trickery. That's why it's called the magician. So recognize and if there are people who are dealing with these types of individuals my only advice to you is to not only recognize what you're dealing with but try to distance yourself from them as far as as much as possible okay last card for you in the spread is more of your energies and this is the uh the god of wands or the king of wands so again it's right in line with um all the other energies that are showing up here that are really positive with the lover's card. So some of you could be experiencing some very, very intense or passionate moments with your relationships. Again, it mirrors. I'm sorry. That is not your last card. This is the fourth card. See, I always do that when I throw the um, the immediate card over the first card or right, immediate environment card. This here is part of your energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So you're focused on some energies. This is a court card. So it could be someone new. This could just represent your energy, Aries, and you're feeling passionate. Things are heating up. You're feeling very intense. Maybe you're focused on, if you're single, someone new. That person's energy may come through based on the lover's card. All right. And then also the goddess of love, which is representing our relationships as well as the uh, supreme and the high priestess. So you got a lot of stuff going on here. So the final card and my bad for um, making that uh, quick error there for you in this reading is more of your energies. And it's the eight of wands. So this is the eight of wands. With all of this that I've just said is about good communication, effective communication, whatever you have to express this upcoming month regarding your relationships, Aries, it's understood. Whatever you receive in terms of communication from other people is going to be understood. Rapid communication, uh, texting through um, emailing, texting, mostly texting. I'm getting texting. A lot of people um, are you know, texting a great deal. Uh, so that's the pickup 
type of communication, so it happens rapidly. Um, but all sorts of positive messages coming through could be actual telephone calls. This Eight of Wands is also too part of the energy of news rapidly coming through, connected to your relationship or uh, surprises, or it could be a combination of both. Now, it does mirror the Tower card, okay? So it could be something rapidly, quickly occurring in terms of communication. But again, it might be linked to, like I said, some of you might be traveling to, um, I don't know if, in the D.C. area, I'm just saying that as an example, if February plays a particular, um, has something going on particularly in uh, February, isn't it? I don't, I could be so wrong, but I think that don't they have something, something to do with the flowers down there? Or that could be in March or April, something to do with the flowers. So that could be an example. But effective communication, rapid communication. And then, you know, Aries, you have this tower moment coming through. You guys got to throw in the comments and let me know how this energy is going to open up for you or has opened up for you. I would appreciate that. But you have a very, very powerful, powerful, dynamic um, spread here. Okay. In spite of the tower showing up here, you have a dynamic uh, source of energies here. All right, so three cards here. These are just messages, uh, Aries, for anyone. So the very first one here is uh, acrimony. Someone's bitter or has ill feelings. So that could be a message. She's sticking her middle finger up. <laughs> I like that. Second card for you, uh, Aries, is that uh, it says mature woman. Out of fairness, cause could also represent a male. It says a young woman. Or a young man is coming into your life, or they may already have. All right. Last card for you, Aries. Forgiveness. This one says here, someone is sorry in this relationship. So that might be a possibility as well. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aries, for the month of February regarding love and relationships. Once again, happy Valentine's Day. Please enjoy Throw those comments and let me know how things are happening for you. I appreciate that. And uh, want to wish you all uh, love and light. And of course, I want to wish you all safety, always emphasizing that safety. Aries, until I talk to you again, be well. Bye.